This is a focaccia made by Lucio. Lucio is a pizza champion, but today for me is a focaccia champion. Guys, focaccia, it's a beautiful, versatile ingredient. Or pizza, whatever you want to call it. Dish. Focaccia. Focaccia. Focaccia needs time, patience. Skills, yes, but at the same time, no. A few, Because, a few little steps to follow. Yeah. A few rules to follow. Um, you need to be patient because if Okashi does take um, um, a little bit longer than uh, you know than usual. Than usual. But honestly, once It's you try and you smell this, you won't buy focaccia from the supermarket ever again. Let's make it. Today we will uh, make uh, an Italian uh, classic uh, focaccia um, using 550 grams of uh, farina uh, blu 5 stagioni with W330, um, 150 grams of uh, classic oro with a W390. So Lucio, the, the thing is, why are you using two different flowers? Okay, so basically the reasons of a combination of using a two different flour, this one it has a very, very um, high protein. Yeah? Okay. Every flour has a different uh, W. This kind of a flour has a W of 390 and it gives a little bit of structure into, into the dough. the dough. Now for those people that uh, um, they can't find uh, this uh, flour, yeah. as long as uh, you find a medium to high level of uh, protein. So I can go to the Era, shop and I get a, a flour, zero, zero flour. Zero, zero flour. With a high in protein, like high, 12, 13 grams. That's right. Together with the flour, we will have uh, um, 15 grams of um, extra virgin olive oil, 50 grams of salt, and uh, um, two grams of uh, uh, yeast, together with 500 grams of uh, water. I'm using fresh yeast, uh, but you can also use uh, um, dry yeast instead of a fresh yeast. The total amount of this um, dough is for, it's 1.2 kilos of dough. Uh, for a baking, we're using a baking tray that is 30 by 40. All right, so one point kilo of dough should we should uh, um, end up with uh, um, enough dough to cover all the tray with a nice uh, a soft airy focaccia and should be quite wobbling. Yes. So what we do at this stage, we dissolve the yeast into the water. All right. Once again, uh, uh, you can uh, always use uh, uh, dry yeast. Using dry yeast, I would mix the dry yeast into the flour, straight into the flour. And uh, we start to add the flour. And we make a kind of uh, pastella. If you do want to use uh, fresh yeast, sorry, uh, dry yeast, mix the yeast together with the flour. Don't okay. worry if the dough is um, a little bit sticky because it will get sticky even uh, uh, to the end because this is a kind of uh, 70% of uh, hydration. So it is a little bit sticky. And we had also um, 150 grams of flour, which is the one with uh, high level of uh, protein. And we start to mix together. I always like to clean the bowl. And we start to mix. If I want to use a stand mixer, can I use it? Absolutely. I guess it's easier with a stand mixer if I... Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, it, is, it gets a little bit easier if you don't want to get your hands dirty and sticky. So guys, at this stage, we, we add also the salt. And we let it combine uh, At this stage, we add uh, extra virgin olive oil. 
why do you add extra virgin olive oil? I mean, and, uh, pizza, you won't do that, but why do you do it in focaccia? And so with the focaccia, um, um, using a good extra virgin olive oil, uh, you can really get the most out of it in terms of uh, um, smelling. Um, it gives a nice uh, um, flavor. You can use olive oil, but I don't mind to use um, um, extra virgin because it smells really, really nice. And all we have to do here, making sure that the dough absorbs all the extra virgin olive oil. Now you can see that the dough is getting a little bit sticky. Now using uh, obviously um, high level uh, protein flour and uh, because the dough is quite hydrated, there is no point to knead for really long time. All right, the dough will be a little bit sticky and the look of it will be a little bit rough all right but once we let it rest that we let it proof you're gonna have something completely different than from what it is now now we let it rest this room temperature for an hour maximum two and then we let it proof uh, in the fridge for at least 12 hours basically once the dough is ready all we have to do is cover up with uh, a cloth or even uh, with a glad wrap. Make sure that no hair goes through. And we leave um, a room temperature, let's say for an hour. So Lucio, after one hour? Yes, so basically after the stage of the, um, after the stage of kneading the dough for the focaccia, yeah. we let it rest at room temperature for an hour, maximum two. And this is what we get before we put it in the fridge and we let it prove for another 12 hours. So now we don't touch it, we don't do it. We don't kneading, touch it, as it is, fridge. straight in the fridge. Okay, and it will grow in the fridge. And we will double up in volume in the fridge. Easy, let's put it in the fridge. Let's go. So after um, uh, 12 hours of fermentation, this is what we get. Nice and soft dough. So the Ready. fridge does a job for you? The, the fridge does the job uh, for you. What if I want to put a room temperature? Absolutely, no? you can. Yeah, it really depends. Uh, and so what you, when you need a full, you can even use these after 24 hours, all right? You can even uh, use uh, after six hours a room temperature. Uh, I have decided to leave a room temperature um, in the fridge for 12 hours. All right, if you decide to leave a room temperature, make, make sure that it's in a cool uh, place. Environment. In, in a cool environment. At this stage, we need to give uh, the dough some uh, folding. So we place the dough and as you can see, so all I'm doing here I'm folding the dough, making some folds, and um, I have to make sure that, you see how it's already hairy? What we're doing, making some folds. So the folding um, so reinforces the, the dough like it gives more it activates the yeast again, and so. Right, okay. So it's not about reinforcing, it's about reactivating. And then once we got the folding, we place the dough. And again, we wrap it with a cloth or glad wrap. How long do we rest it now for? A couple of hours. Okay, at least two hours. At least two hours. The more the better. More the better. But again, once we place it here, we let it prove again okay. to end up with a nice, high, soft dough. All right. Okay, so the next step is, guys, to stretch this beautiful, soft dough. I'm gonna wet a little bit my hand with the olive oil, and we're gonna place this dough over. It's a flower surface, yeah? Now, as you can see, the dough is quite soft. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah? 
High hydration. High hydration is very soft. So what we need here, just slowly, gentle touch, trying to stretch, stretch it, and make sure that this dough it will uh, fit in this baking tray. So with just gentle touch, because the dough is quite soft. Now it's time to move this beautiful uh, slab of dough is into here. But what we need to make sure is we spread a little bit of uh, olive oil into the tray. This will uh, avoid uh, the dough to stick on the bottom of the tray. But also what the olive oil uh, does, which me personally I love it, it gives a bit, little bit of a crunchiness on the bottom of the focaccia. So basically you end up with uh, crunchy on the bottom, crunchy at the top, and a nice soft airy focaccia in the middle. Yeah. That's the importance of fermentation, right? Yes, especially with the focaccia, you want to make sure that it is soft and well uh, hydrated. Okay. So once the dough is uh, in the baking tray, um, we leave uh, again a room temperature for three, three four hours, and uh, uh, you will see that the dough will uh, prove again will double up in volume, so you're going to uh, end up with something that is quite soft, um, quite wobbling, and uh, um, yeah, so it's quite hairy as well. So we always need to cover? Yes, whatever we do guys, uh, uh, we need to cover with, uh, with the cloth or with the glad wrap, yeah? Because if it dries up? No, if it dries uh, up, um, to avoid that dries up, you can even sprinkle some uh, uh, water on it, yeah? Um, but the dough should always be covered with something. Whether you have a cloth or a plate, you can even do a focaccia that is round and you can use uh, um, a plate to cover it. So basically this is um, uh, what we're gonna end up after a few um, hours that the focaccia has been uh, proved. We unwrap it, very, very gentle. Beautiful uh, smell I get out of it. All right. And as you can see, it has doubled up in volume and it's Ooh, whirling. Yeah. This is the best moment of everything yeah i like my uh, focaccia quite oily yeah we put a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil on top be very generous very generous don't be shy you, the last thing that you want is having a dry focaccia do not be shy all right do not be shy with olive oil Usually when I eat focaccia and I get, once it's cooked, you get your finger a little bit wet from the olive oil. That's what I like about it. We're gonna uh, do different toppings because we have a quite big focaccia. We're gonna, with the focaccia again, guys, it's, um, as I said before, the variety, you can have many variety of uh, focaccia with many types of condiments. Um, we're gonna have uh, three types uh, of uh, toppings, three types of uh, condiments. We do one side uh, with uh, uh, maldon salt, rosemary and oregano. Um, the middle side uh, we're gonna uh, have a mix of green and uh, black olives, some uh, um, cherry tomato, uh, some onion, like barese style uh, uh, toppings. And uh, uh, the last side we will do with uh, cooked onion and uh, potato. So what we do, with some uh, gentle touch, guys, we make some uh, holes in it. It's so soft. It's, it's really nice. And then we top with whatever ingredients 
we want. Okay, so guys, at this stage, we're gonna um, do some toppings. All right, as we said, we're gonna have three different uh, uh, types of toppings. The first one, we do a classic, uh, a classic one with some uh, rosemarine. And then some uh, generous amount of Maldon salt. Because I like the saltiness of uh, a classic focaccia. And then a bit of uh, oregano. And that's the first one, yeah? And then we're gonna do the middle, um, the middle top, maybe with some uh, cherry tomato. You can use your own. Um, you can use your own your own fantasy, guys. I mean, some uh, sun dry tomato. Why you not? Sun They're like really the cherry, nice. Cherry tomatoes, sun dried. Yeah. Beautiful. Some olives, a mix of uh, black and uh, green olives. Very barese. Very barese. And maybe some uh, onions. I don't mind to get a little bit of a uh, drop of uh, the olive olive oil. Extra flavor, the extra, the extra flavor. And this one maybe we do cooked onions. Caramelized. Caramelized. Love. Onions. This is perfect for any occasion guys this focaccia for dinner party as a side dish you can uh, even cut it and uh, fill with any sort of ingredients i love the combination of mortadella and ricotta in the focaccia bread and then some uh, some potato More oregano, what do you reckon? Never. It's never much. enough, yeah? <laughs> Last touch, a bit of a, again, drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. It's never enough. Yeah, I'm very generous about it, especially on the plain one. So when you cook it, the focaccia will absorb the extra virgin yes. olive oil, right? So yes. Yeah. Yes, so you do want to be generous. To or to dry, because there is a, it's lacking of uh, olive oil. To cook the focaccia, bring the oven at 220 uh, degrees. Um, it will take roughly around 20, 25 minutes, so until it's golden brown at the top. Enzo, you let all go. Let all go, Enzo. Perfect, Yep. Love it. Are you happy? I'm very happy, Enzo. Yeah. yeah. Brown color. Nice and golden. Yeah. Mm. Lucio, what do you think, Lucio? Nice. I can it uh, smell. Um, it's the smell that's coming out of this focaccia. It's Nice. Fantastic, you know, yeah. nice. I like how I smell the cook the ingredients onion. Were inside. Look at the tomatoes, the olives, the one inside, the focaccia. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Yeah. Oh, bellissimo. Mm. Look at the edges. Look how, is that what you want it for? You know, you want yes. these beautiful thick edges? Let's check the bottom. What's the bottom like? Is it golden? Why are you using scissors, uh, Lucio? We're using scissors. Scissors is uh, a perfect knife for focaccia because we want to make a show. And so look at that. Oh, smells incredible. Look at that. Ooh, look at that, guys. Yeah. Look at the, the eddy, oh the softness. Look at the alveolation. Look. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. So this slice here is the normal classic uh, uh, rosmarin, uh, uh, rock salt, and oregano. Um, look, I, as we said, we have a golden brown uh, in the bottom. That's because of the olive oil. And look, I like um, when it's a little bit oil. That's what I like about focaccia. It's, it has to wet a little bit your hands. And then um, look how soft it is inside. And a little bit crunchy at the top and on the edge. Yeah, so soft in the middle, crunchy on the bottom, crunchy at the top and on the edge, but soft at the same time. It's quite look at airy, yeah? Oh my God. This is gonna melt in my mouth, Lucia. What slice do you want first, Lucia? Tell me. Um, yeah, I'll try this you. one. I'm glad you uh, made this. We put it yeah. in and oh, no. caramelized onions. I love it. Oh, look at it. Can you smell it? Look, look at, at this. This is the best part of the video recipe, guys. Look. Ah, oh, nice, warm, fragrant. Mmm. Happy? I'm so happy to be your friend, Lujo. What a lucky friend I am. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Buon, eh? Oh, if you didn't have a restaurant, I would invite you to my house every weekend. But you bring nice. focaccia. It's really nice. Oh, I love it. Guys, come and see Lucio, please. Ask him, put the focaccia on the menu. You can't find this in any bakery in Sydney. Nobody does focaccias like this. No I one, like the, no one. The caramelized onion. Mm. Huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Why is it difficult to find a focaccia like this? Probably because it takes a little bit of time. But it's very nice. Wow. Yeah? Bravo, and so. But that's what we want to achieve, and so. This, be the this pain, kind you of thickness. You can't achieve this in three hours, can you? It's um, more um, about the lightness of something. You see how light it is? Yeah. You're eating some, I tell you something, to give you normally a guideline of um, how the focaccia has to be. Let's mm -hmm. say people want to make a focaccia at home, yeah? Mm. But they got a tray. Say, how much do I gotta make? The question, you know what I mean? You mm. can't make uh, whatever you want. Mm. There is a, a kind of um, formula, yeah? To make um, an, like a normal size focaccia, like thin, skinny, skinny thing, yeah. between. Which is also nice. Which, which is also, also nice. Yeah. There's nothing wrong or nothing no. right. Because when we're talking about focaccia, it's kind of a personal, yeah? That's right. You might like more thin and the crunchy. And crunchy. I like more soft, moist, mm -hmm. and at the same time crunching at the top and on the bottom. But for example, we used one gram of dough mm -hmm. for square centimeter. What right. does. And you know what I mean? So to give you, if you wanted a half of that, you should have used half gram of dough for square centimeter. For example, this is a tray of 30 by 40. Mm. All right, 30 by 40 is 1200. We use 1.2 of dough. Then if you do more, Na it ruins everything. A little more than this, I won't do it. No. You can do half of this. You can do less. You can do less. Thing. But this is a good guideline. Well, it is important to follow the recipe, like when you make a cake. Yes, this is a good guideline for focaccia. You could use, for example, a half gram of dough for square meter, That's right. for centimeter, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. You already finished? Me? Yeah. No, I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Do yourself a favor. Say thanks to Lucio. You guys thank already you love guys. Lucio. Make it yourself. Have fun. Try it, enjoy it, and everyone will be happy. You cannot find these in the bakery, let me tell you, okay? Maybe you do, but not as good, and when you make it yourself, it's always it tastes better. Bigger. Yeah. Especially if you make it. <laughs> you put everything you like on top. You don't have to put this. No. Do everything you like. Use your own fantasy. Yeah, your own fantasy. Just put salt if you want, but nothing else. You know, like, just whatever you want. Um, but thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Thank you Lucio's guys. Plate. Vincenzo's plate. Lucio's focaccia. <laughs> Thanks guys.